Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a nail polish declutter and I uh, have very little battery and my daughter's running around, so we'll see how this goes. I figured I'd get started. Um, I think I'll do a nail polish collection of what I'm keeping at a later point, but these are items I'm getting rid of right now. Um, I am looking at about five Zoya nail polishes that are somewhere else that went bad. Uh, so that's also here. Look, here she is. <laughs> okay, let's just get started. These are my Zoya polishes that I'm getting rid of. And um, I am probably going to be sending a bunch of these to Jen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and my sister is my mom, um, that kind of thing. And then I'm going to put a big package together for Project Beauty Share. I think that's the name of it. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have these two mattes from Zoya. This is the matte velvet in Donova, Dovima. <laughs> And then this is Tove. I really liked Tove. It looked like cement. I just don't use these. So I'm getting rid of these. Um, it's really hard for me to part with any kind of Zoya because these are my favorite nail polishes. Um, or some of them. I love Zoya and I love Julep and I love Julie G. But um, I still have a bunch of nail polish to go through. But this is the first batch. These Zoya. This is Carter in this gorgeous like purple color. Let's see if I can get a little closer. And then Dream is this gorgeous blue. We have more of like a shiny um, metallic looking blue in Nev. This is a beautiful like blue silver swirly one in Hazel. Oh, beautiful. Um, and I did swatch all of these. I kept a bunch, which is how I kind of got through. Like, do I wear these? Um, this is Mason. Then we have Channing, Cosmo which is one of the pixie dust. And then this uh, last one is Erica with a K. And this one I really just got rid of because it's so um, non-opaque. <laughs> you know, it's kind of streaky. Okay, so I'm putting these in a bag so I can kind of move on. Um, I have two Essies so far. This is Find Me an Oasis, which I loved in Boom Boom Room. Boom Boom Room is fine. It's just, I don't really wear these pinks anymore. Find Me an Oasis was my favorite, but it is a little runny. I think it's getting a little older. Um, oh, here's another Essie one, which I loved in Chilato. Yeah, Chilato, which is just like this, like really light green. Oh my goodness, Ellie. Sorry, guys. Rude. <laughs> Pushing through. Um, this green. So we're getting rid of that. This LVX is in uh, Serene, which is another really pretty one. I have a lot of these kinds of colors, but it's just like thin and streaky along with this OPI and Alpine Snow. I think this might be the best white I've tried, uh, which is a really good one, but I also don't wear white often. This I'm finally getting rid of. This is, it's a trapeze. I really... I looked forever for this for some reason. It's just this milky white with multicolored glitter. I don't know why. And then I finally found it and I got it and I never wear it. It's completely separated. Uh, also this NCLA we got, woo, in like a boxy charm. This is in Heart Attack. And it the concept is really cute, but it's so hard to get a heart on your nail. <laughs> Ellie, my gosh. It used to be difficult filming with the dog. Look, she has one Nike on, <laughs> one. I have a Sephora X. I don't even know what color. This is in Rowdy. I loved the Sephora X before they kind of went away. Um, and I think I have a few other here. Yeah, these two. And I got these on discount, I believe. This is in Volatile. Yeah, Volatile and Airhead. Volatile is like super glittery. Really pretty. Swatch them, they're gorgeous. I never wear them. Um, and again, just because I have so many nail polishes. So I'm moving some of those over. This sparkly green from Wet n Wild, I would always and only wear. Uh, it's one of the mega last for St. Patrick's Day and it's Field of Greens, just a really fun green glitter. You could see, yeah, you can see there. Yeah, and then these are polishes. Oh, here's this one. Another Sephora X in Chaotic. And I really did like this one. It looks like confetti. Uh, but again, I just don't do that. And thinking of taking some of these off ugh, kills me. Bikini So Teeny is really pretty, but this also looks pretty watery and streaky now. And I think that's really just what happens when 
you know, then your polishes go old. These are ones that I never wear. This one was like a Sephora ornament kind of gift. Formula X out of sight, which looked like pieces of gilded gold, which was really cool. I wore that like once or twice. Jen, I think, passed these on to me and I never wore them. So here's a Nails Ink Winter Lights in London Lane. Beautiful. The thought of taking this off my nails, I want to cry. Uh, these two Formula X, TNT and Blast Off. Really cool. This one looks like graffiti, like paint splatter, this blue. I don't know if you guys can see. And this is just like a black. This Blast Off looks really, really cool. Hi, honey. Um, so I'm getting rid of those. So these are the ones I'm getting rid of. Whoopsies. There's an extra one over there that she, Ella, grabbed. So this is the first batch. Ellie. So I found some more that I'm getting rid of. These are actually all the ultra bright neons from Zoya. And it obviously came as a set. And I think I'm going to give those to Jen because she expressed interest. Yeah, maybe Ella wants them. These are my julep polishes I'm passing on. Um, I didn't like the way these performed. This green is Tatum. Le Larry, Larry is this coral, really pretty, but they were always kind of goopy from the start. Uh, this is a beautiful one in Rooney, which is kind of like a grayish brown color. But there were actually a few others that I'm keeping that are similar. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Julep. Let me see. This one is like a Valentine's one in Hartley. And this has sparkles. It's a clear base with hearts and glitter. Really cute. But again, I don't wear it. This one, I don't know if this was Zelda. The little sticker came off. But I kept a few others that look similar. And that's why I got rid of this one. And this is Tatiana, which is just a really pretty autumny gold. I don't know. So many different undertones in here but again I just don't need them all and then these are the Zoya ones that I feel went bad I think oh is this so this is Neely and I'm tossing the these Neely Megan's this purple this blue one was my favorite this was Rocky I would buy Rocky again it's gorgeous um Channing that's funny there was like a Tatum and now Channing and I think they're pretty similar in color. And, oh no, this was the satin. So maybe it was this guy. Nope, it was this guy. The Serafina. So those are the ones I'm t that I'm passing on to the trash. Oh, this guy. Zoya and Flynn, which was my favorite. It's gorgeous. And now when it's on my nails, it looks kind of like poop. Yeah? Hold on. Here, here, here. Say hi. Look, there's her other sneaker with the dog. So uh, Flynn is absolutely beautiful, but those are the ones I'm passing on. This is a color clutch and it is specifically formulated to house nail polishes. All different sizes, there's a lot of space up here. I have all my Julie G polishes. My goal was to cut this in half and I did that. So I'm actually keeping, I think all of these on the bottom. Um, but let me go through. I am not getting rid of any of these because I don't like them. I am getting rid of them because I have a million dupes. I don't wear the colors anymore or they've kind of gone bad. Um, just off the bat, the textured polishes, I just don't wear. They're super pretty. This is Crushed Candy, which is a really nice like pink. Uh, it's more of like a purplish this is more of like a magenta pink, and this is in Ho Ho Ho. Really pretty. It's pulling more red, so I wonder how accurate that's going to look. But I just don't really wear these textured polishes anymore. This is Sugar Rush. So these were like, I think it was like the sugar, like there was a line of them. Silver Bells is another one. Really pretty. Um, Blueberry Fizz. You know, so I just kind of pulled those off the bat. I think, did I, is this one? Butterflies and Rosebuds. This is really pretty and I was going to keep it, but I think I'm going to just declutter this. This is more of a purple undertone to it, but honestly, I just don't want to deal with like tons of glitter. And I have a lot that I've kept in other brands. So 
I've gotten rid of six so far. This was just purely because I have so many dupes. Uh, metallic heels, which I love. But um, I love the Julie G nail polishes. They're some of my favorites. But I also love, it's Julie G, Zoya, and Julep. And I have a julep color that's similar enough to this that I was like, I should get rid of this one because I love the julep one so much. This is Metallic Heels is amazing. And these are like $3.99. You can get them at Rite Aid or at um, <clears throat> jessiesgirl.com. Julie's Fave is one that is a really pretty color, but it's separated and it just looks kind of gross. Sorry, my phone is going off. This one also kind of went off color. Jalapeno was like a really pretty green and now it just like looks really gross when I swatched it and I just don't wear blues anymore. Um, this is another textured one in Sugar Plum Fairy and then this blue one is Dance in the Dark. Really pretty but I just don't wear them. So that's it. That's five, eight, nine, ten. I got rid of eleven. I'm keeping these guys and I will be doing a nail polish collection soon.